just not as young as it used to be. Good show.
careful you do not track mud on the floors. You would not wish to tarnish this hospitable environment. Pardon. Based on your actions, I've heard this operation's on thin ice. Yo, back. So how did it go? Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? Legacy. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? I have never heard of such a thing. I'm surprised. I thought this was one of those tales that made it to every corner of the settled systems. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts, or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Galbank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your next move? Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Cricks was clever. For some reason, I never got there. And let Neva Mora take his place. Or Shinya Voss. Or any one of a number of pirates already gunning for his position. No. The solution is to stick to the undercover operation and determine how much of this is truly a credible threat. It's imperative that you do. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. You're both dismissed. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. I dig how you handled that.
your style. You should inspect your ship for heat leeches every couple landings. They'll cause plenty of havoc if left unchecked. Okay, no problem. Just check out the Trade Authority kiosk. I'm sure you can find something you'll... Anything you need to offload? Treat. Sure, how about it? Sure, how about it?
any adventure you can fly away from. Some work done? Okay, no problem. Whenever I eat here, I cannot help but taste dust and dirt. Well, I do not think I am imagining it. Am 
Uh, do you imagine anyone actually enjoys living here? I simply cannot. Well, well. Look what the Martian. with Lou, so you're going to help Dr. Walker? Oh, good, good. Uh, Percival's a good guy. Listen, I know how you can do it without having to resort to any... B and E. Aqueous hematite. Mars is full of it. People think it's just garbage, but Percival and I, we've been working on some projects in the deep mines. At least when he wasn't slaving away at his trade authority contract. But we stumbled on a way to make it useful and profitable. You give our research over to Octai at the Trade Authority, it should more than cover Percival's debt. That guy's always looking for an angle. Yeah, it does. It would be. Uh, there's just one issue. We were never able to finish the research. Spacers moved in and ran us out. Started setting up shop. Oh, I know what comes next. But if you can clear them out, I can walk you through how to finish the research. Then you can give it over to the Trade Authority. They'll get folks working in the deep mines again. Jobs come back, I become a modern-day folk hero. <laughs> then I don't have to sleep on an inflated spacesuit anymore. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So access to the deep mines can be found outside the city. It's not far. Shouldn't even need to hop back in your ship. We'd set up right near the main drill. Taking out the spacer leader should get the message across to the rest of them to buzz off. Once you've managed that, phone up here on the comms panel, and I can walk you through finishing the research. If you are free soon, could we talk?
assume we haven't seen the last of these spacers.
mark. There you are. Take your best shot.
have the time, I wish to speak to you. Ah, oh, hello. Hello? Oh, well, took care of the spacers, huh? Well, good. Now, to finish off the research, you're gonna need to collect a sample of hematite to run through the thresher. Grab a laser cutter and head back to the chamber where you came in. Once you've got a sample, Thresher's the big machine in the next room. Passcode to start it is Ares 2330. Take care of all that, and we'll have Percival's name cleared in no time.
Good to see you. That's that. How's it going? Can I help you? Cool. Come back anytime.
Hey, you looking for anything? Sounds like a plan. Yo, stay good out there. You look hurt. You've got the slate. Let me see. Reduced joint wear? Oh, increased lifting capacity? A dose of this stuff can make a binder way more efficient. This formula's gotta be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. Okay, so here's what you do. Tell Octai and the Trade Authority you found a business proposal that will make miners more efficient, higher yield, synergy, you know, all that business crap. And that you'll trade it to him for clearing Percival's debt. You good at doing pitches and stuff like that? Aw, oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, and here, a copy of the formula for yourself, in case you ever want to try maximizing your own industrial output. Oh, use that if you can. Good luck. Was there something else? Hmm. I'm never one to turn away an opportunity. But I'd be curious what you think you've uncovered in the Martian market that others have missed. Aqueous hematite, iron and wastewater. Well. I'm not surprised no one has proposed something like this before. And exactly what does this new drug of yours do? Hmm. An interesting proposal, if your data pans out. But where's this hematite coming from? The active mines would be too expensive to retool. The deep mines could be an option, but they're full of spacers. Or so I've heard. Well now, that is intriguing. A completely untapped resource pool. And the sort of utility every mining firm in Sidonia would be clamoring to get their hands on. We could contract out all the actual lab work. Bring on one of the hungrier mining concerns for materials. The licensing fees alone. And think what it would do for our image with the general populace. This mine, reopened, thanks to the Martian Trade Authority. Very interesting indeed. And what do you want for the rights to this drug? Dr. Walker's dead? That's it? Consider it wiped. Well, it seems we have a deal then. And here. A finder's fee from the Authority. A perfectly reasonable amount for a discovery with this sort of potential. Wouldn't want you feeling shortchanged down the road. 
We'll just be taking that slate before you have any second thoughts. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Captain. Fine work. My end of the bargain then, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devils HQ. The place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit. But we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. I was also going to warn you about spaces down there. But it sounds like you might have already tossed those drakes. Here. The passkey. And I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down.